TMO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. So by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Specifically right now to the live for to the pool. Call it the pool, Liverpool, you get me, but uh, anyway. Twitch.com is where you can catch a live stream, man. Usernames at the bottom of the screen, man. We also be on Patreon. We post seven days a week, including Premier League highlights. Go check it out. This is Red Light District. Never even heard of it. Talk to me. Liverpool's highest crime rate area. Verbally abused me and almost arrested. This is the All or Nothing podcast, man. This is Billy Moore. I'm really interested in Billy, man. I'm, I got uh, I got another video I'm going to watch where he was on a podcast and he did his whole story. I also remember we did a um, reaction to him when he was on um, Lab, Lab Bibles. I remember that. But, you know, I they only gave me like a 15-minute a snippet. I need the whole hour. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Remember, if you ever see your stuff on this channel and you don't want it there, just leave a comment. I'll take it off. It ain't that deep. Anyway, copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. You know it's, it's dark outside. It gotta be a native. Nobody's popping outside with a camera that's not native to any any land. You know what I'm saying? Hello everyone, we're all good. A big shout out to everyone out there who likes, shares, comments and subscribes to this channel. Just on Shield Road. Heavy gaff there, so overnight. The activities Blazing. Brasses everywhere, punches pulling up, police just flying by. Crazy. What road did he say this one? How are you? Wow. What did she say? How are you? Did she just say, do you want a job of blow? How are you? Wow. I honestly thought that was a, just an average woman out for a stroll at night. <laughs> I didn't think she was into that. You know who that is, obviously. This is what we have. Y'all got cameras, though? Never I mind. That's a police camera, or that's a, a, a what's it called? The AMPR. I don't even know what an APMPR looks. <laughs> This is the streets. This is what it's like, look. Poor girls having to sell themselves. Oh, she this is the red light district, okay. I forgot that was in the title. Seriously? <laughs> Mong? Did you hear that? I know she ain't talking. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, who you are? You are wasting time on your road, you sausage. Having a wank over the girls. I ain't gonna lie, she cussing her out him out. But the thing is, 
if she thinks she eating though, she's not. You know what I'm saying? You at the end of the day, and I say this very humbly, if you outside selling that meow, then shh. Don't worry about me being out here <laughs> wasting my time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you out here putting mileage on your car. <laughs> ain't no, hey, look. Stop that, eh? This is the reality of Shield Road. You believe more? Yeah. <laughs> fuck, fuck. Oh. Everything's fine. Fuck off, don't be here. Film this. Alright. Film this. I don't know what it is, I know I can walk down these streets, you know, without fear. Not that I want to be the aggressor or attack anyone if they throw me. Of course not. But I won't take no shit. And why should I take any shit when I've lived and breathed this air all my life? Right. So this is... And that's what I be saying. Like, it got to be a local to do this at night. Ain't nobody, no, ain't no out of town in front to do this. Not even if they, they could be a tough guy out of town, but like, it's a, res it's a respect factor that you got to have for people's neighborhood. Anything go left at any time. It's like a Call of Duty map. I hear people running like this is, what's she doing? She cool? So this is basically a crack then. Probably where you take the, the punters back. The punters be running there? Right, I'm just with a local, a kid called Sogger. Now, Sogger, you've, you've had to... You Four have to years I've lived here. Lived here, and what's it like for you? With me kids, lad, it's just never ending, mate. Um, so what are you up against, seriously? The police just let them do what they want. What are they doing, lad? I mean, I've noticed that over there. You've just seen that. Yeah. And the, the, the police just try and pass it. And we have to, some, look, look, the other month, I seen some girl smoking crack with the kid, with the kid in a pram. Yeah, well, you're angry, aren't you? You know, the smoking, no, the smoking. It's getting, it's getting rather That's ridiculous. The smoking Look. drugs. How old are you, my mate? Nine. Nine, Nine years old. Nine years of age. And yeah. you've seen it. What have you seen around here, mate? Everything coming And, uh, and the subject. And a nine-year-old shouldn't be seeing this. Yeah. They've got the police right there. And as you say again, they're the other gang, you know what I mean? No. You no, can't really. do nothing at all. But this is a high-crime area, isn't it? At the worst. See, I've never seen so many brasses out tonight, though. Hey. You've, what, what, what's one just said to you then? Oh, she's you... just been giving a, giving me loads there, calling me all kinds of names. I wasn't even filming her. And that's how I, I met you then, the murder then. Yeah. The, that's why I looked out the window then, yeah. I looked out the window, that's how it is. But... She was telling me she had nine kids and she didn't want to be on film. And I said, look, you don't have to be on film. I'm not filming you. You're just in the way of the camera. But then she started getting a little bit aggressive, as you did. That, do you know who that was? Who was that? Paddy the Baddy's ma. Was he? Of all people <laughs> driving down the streets. All right. All right. This is all right. That was Paddy the Baddy's mom. That's tough. <laughs> Salute to Paddy the Baddy, man. He just had twins. That's, t I mean, uh, congratulations, you know, any amount of children is a blessing. And you're in the position, a great position to raise children financially. But imagine like somebody like me or somebody like somebody normal <laughs> having a child, only one, one and two coming out. That is detrimental. <laughs> congratulations, though. But dang, I was thinking about it when I seen it. I was dang, what if... What if two came out? I only wanted one. Oh my god. Oh, That's a good <laughs> Do you know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, know, Jackie. You know, I, I, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing on to the lads. Oh, what? We're not doing on. No, they're here though, are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to know what we're doing? Yeah. Uh, and that's what they're doing. Oh no, oh no, they're checking it here. Yeah, you checking my car there, mate? Oh, you no, checking, checking my... it. He's checking it here. Checking that? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, have a way with him, we'll have a way with him. See what he says. 
Oh, he's getting out. Yeah. This should be interesting. The way Billy be hooding himself in the perfect situation when the camera is on, too. Like, it's easy to come back and be like, oh, yeah, this just happened. Nah, he, the camera be rolling him. That's mine. It is. Have I just been driving it, yeah? What's your name? I don't need to tell you that, do I, really? I've had a report that someone's been abusive to some of the girls down No one's been oh. abusive whatsoever. It was actually the opposite. I live here and I, and I live in this residence and my son's here. It was actually the opposite, to be fair. Okay, so what's happened then? You alright, Jay? You alright? What's happening? Yeah, so I... Do you really? Yeah, man. So? Nothing, nothing. Not in trouble, are you? I might not. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, listen, if you're going to start bringing loads, I'm going to take him in and I'll come back out. Yeah, I'll be back out now. No, uh, nah, if, if you go in. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, look at how the cop looking at this man. Oh, that is funny to me, I'm sorry. Go in. So this is how I was just looking at him, low-key, very low-key. Let's see that. Nice, nice one. So is this red light district? This is legal? Because he came around with a super, with his cape on, and he was talking about you being abusive to, no, that ain't the case. It's on camera. Yeah, yeah. Is it William Moore, is it? Yeah, she know that, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not enough this man doesn't know that he can teach a horse. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're driving that vehicle before? Yes. But okay. well, what, what is his point, What is his point, though? I'm going to be on this one question. Something is going to be on court. Okay. He's cautioning him? Just admit to me, prior to caution, that you've been driving that vehicle. Your name's William John Moore. Date of birth of 4th, 1173. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're disqualified driver, mate. I'm disqualified? Yes, you are. Since when? Um, let's find out now. No way. No way. Rose gonna falsify some charges? You gotta do all that, then it ain't real. I don't believe it. Why is there 92 cops here all of us? Since when have I been disqualified from driving? I will find out now. This is the funniest old race because... So you've been disqualified since 2003? No, I haven't. Have you got your driving license? I have. Yeah. One, yeah. two, no, three. He's definitely out here capping. Yeah, 2003, buddy. It's 2024. You, so he's he been driving for 21 years, and this is the first time he's been pulled over. Bro, you could have put this together in your head before you even said it out loud. Now you're about to look dumb. This See, this be the problem. You worried about the wrong stuff, sir. You were, There's a crack den behind you. Can you go investigate that? <laughs> You coming over here to the man with the camera, letting the world, rest of the world see. Now, now, how many people watch this? Let me hit the like button, matter of fact. I'm subscribed. Turn my little bell on. 536,000 people came over, have seen you be a, a head of D, I C K. So, like, I, I feel like you should have did something different. <laughs> this ain't, and then you're not even looking because you know you knew when you read out that date, it wasn't adding up. <laughs> it's not doing yeah, what it's supposed to be. Yeah. I know this guy. When you pulled up, was he yet? Yeah? Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. When you pulled up, was he yet? Yeah? Right, so let's get this one thing right. I've been disqualified since 2003. <laughs> So they're saying I've been disqualified since 2003, which is... Impossible. I passed my test in 2000 and... 14, I think. 
That was my little mother suck. Come on, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to see the apology. I know they apologized. He had to have. <laughs> The system glitch is crazy. Imagine how many system glitches there are. We just seen one in real time. That's insane. I actually got caution. Yeah. I thought she qualified. Uh, it's yeah. Well, it's been since six, 2003. Six pages. <laughs> six pages. They were all right in the end, really. Yeah. They were like quite understanding. As soon as they oh. found out that like my license was issued in 2019 and it was okay. Let me go, but yeah. Look at my dad here, so I'm gonna. Oh, crazy, crazy, yeah. you know. That's that. strange. Can you see a sign, though, lad, honest? You know what, Christ, it's been a pleasure. Hey, Hello. And Hello, it hasn't been man. that long. It hasn't <laughs> been that long, but it's been very eventful, hasn't it? Hey, yeah, man. Well, this is Radstock Road. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You know, I'm never abusive to, to anyone. You know, I know how people struggle, but. You know, when you start getting aggressive and calling me names and I'm threatening to call PC Plum and have me nicked and then actually do call the police. They followed through, huh? Who claimed that they'd said I'd been abusive. No, it wasn't. I was just responding to what they were saying. They were she was calling me this and calling me that. Well, there you go. Not gonna lie, they bogus for that. She's got a punter. If you're so ashamed of what you're doing, then why are you doing so it? She took that punny over there where it says danger, keep out. You can hear them talking. She's asking him, has he got a condom? I heard, you loud too. <laughs> this is insane. That fella who's just caught for that bed. For that bed. We just got for that fella. She pulled me over and went, Bill, you offered me 15 quid for the truck. So I'll chuck him in the back as you see him. And then he decides to give me a fiver. So she legged him, chugged him on. She said in reality he was glad. He was standing there when I came out. These girls are damaged goods, absolutely crack psychosis, rock bottom in the basement, fucked up. Yeah, that's Sadly. really what it be. Yeah. That's just how it is, lad. That drug got a hold Teddy. on them. So I bumped into young Jason again. Now we had Jason on a, about a year ago, you know, when he was he was on the streets. Six months ago it was, bro. How long ago? Six months. Was it? No, sorry, nine, nine yeah. months ago. It was nine a little bit back ago, though, yeah. so. Yeah. You know, when it's half one in the morning, you're on Shield Road, I just bumped into you. You know, you're out on the streets, what's going on, lad? Unhealthy lifestyle I'm living, in it. So, uh, what weight are you now, lad? Five stone six. Five stone six? I went to jail in September and I was seven stone eight pounds. And I come out in February and I was just over, just over eight and a half stone and I've gone down to five stone six. And you just said to me then, you're And all I do is walk the streets all day, every day. And, but I eat a lot. Yeah. But recently, I've, no, I've noticed quite a few lumps under my, my skin yeah. all over my stomach coming up, and I'm scared. I'm scared to, to go to the doctors because I've already got bowel issues anyway. As it is, do you know what you I mean? You gotta go check that out, bro. Right? I will. You got to. To be honest with you, I'm I'm not getting no support. I popped into a hostel up on uh, Lisa Drive, there, South Kingston, uh, a couple of days ago to ask one of the staff because I heard it's a YMCA hostel and asked yeah. if you know they could have a look on my mainstay and see what's going on. And he basically told me I was priority four, which is one of the lowest priorities. And yeah. 
basically you need to be getting in touch with the Whitechapel because priority for it. I mean, you're young, you work in age, you military age, you can go fend for yourself. But you know, there's probably some. I don't know. I don't want to say nothing. But like, they need. This is sad, low key. This is a young dude. How old is he? Me vulnerabilities. It should yeah. be a priority one. But because I refuse to go in the hostel because of the environment they are and I'm quite vulnerable and don't like being in a place like, I, you know, I, I, I struggle, I do suffer so and I'm very easily led and stuff. Mm. Because I refuse to go in places like that, they don't want to know. And, and unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to handle my own tenancy. What mm. I really need is to be in support of living. Like when I left care, I had the care assessment done, which every care leaver gets, and I should have been given 21 hours one-to-one -one support a week in supported living. I was meant to be given a social worker, an adult social worker. You need used to it. get one automatically until you're 25. You don't know more. You just get given a PA, and if your class is eligible under the Care Act assessment is vulnerable, you're meant yeah. to be given that support. You know what he's talking about care, for sure, too. Didn't have a, count, uh, a flat ready for me to move into, and they put me in a hotel out the way in Warrington. And because I tried killing myself in three different hotel rooms, the council used that as an excuse to say, we're not putting you up no more because you've been thrown out three times. And since then, I've had no support, no nothing. I just want up. someone to give me the right opportunity, offer me the right help and support. This is, and help me. Every time I hear about the council, it is nothing good. But he clearly needs some support. Like He needs like a, to talk to somebody on a daily basis. Like, like this is insane. About to piss me off a little bit. We had 19,000 drop frames. My bad. I don't know where that came from. But it stopped, I think. <laughs> to just get into, you know, some sort of support of accommodation. Yeah. Say it's good now. And go back and do a level four To be honest, the last two nights I've not got nowhere to stay. No. I haven't managed to get enough cash. That's why I've just asked you for a bit I of I bumped into you before and, you know, the police had just pulled me up. Yeah. You know, you said to me, you thought it's tough chasing me, car. Yeah. <laughs> Why was that? Because of the amount, the amount of police presence there was. Yeah. And, you know, the, the, the things they were saying. But I didn't make a point of it saying, you know, you, you, you were a good man and you, and you, you helped me out. It was, like, they get getting it me it on was, the internet. And, I think it was just a, uh, you know... An intimidation, to be honest, wasn't it, really? No, that was just a mis miscommunication, I think. Yeah. He didn't, you know, it was a misunderstanding, it I was, should say. Yeah, it was yeah. a misunderstanding. But Chase, you were saying to me, right, that you suffer with loneliness, right? Why, why, why Which leads like to depression. You all have that feeling, you know what I mean? Do you get that, like, like it's... I'll be honest with you, someone said to me a couple of weeks ago, and it's me, Livy Care PA's manager, open talks to Annick, she said, Jason, she said, you're happy living on the streets, aren't you? I said, yes, I know, in a way. She said, why is that? I said, I don't know. She said, I'll tell you why it is. She said... You've got no self worth. You don't. Yeah. You don't know your own mm. self worth. She said, and you, mm. you need to. You need some therapy. You need some counselling, and you need. Who said that to him? I said I don't. You're happy living. PA's manager open talks to Vanek. She said, Jason. Now W her. She gave you a real truth. That's the real truth of it. This is like real true stuff, man. A lot of people left have like. And this don't be their fault. This could be passed down from family member to, like, from kid to mom, mom. To, like, it's a family thing sometimes where they don't instill that self-worth in you and, and you just go by the wayside and you low-key forgot about. But that whoever that lady was gave you a real truth. And that's something that you can work on, but you do need the proper counseling for it because it's not something that you could just fight by yourself. You know what I'm saying? She said, Say you're it happy again. living on the streets, aren't you? I said, yes, I know, in a way. She said, why is, is that? this kid? I said, I don't know. She said, I'll tell you why it is. Jason. She said, you've got no self-worth. You, yeah. you don't know your own self-worth, she said. And you, you, need to, you need some therapy, you need some counselling, and you need to be shown how to love yourself and oh, to God, be shown yeah. that you deserve a lot more in life. Yeah. You know, and like, I'll be honest. That's I, facts. I, that's facts. A lot of people be like, oh, wow, man, why are you so confident, man? Because I think I deserve stuff. <laughs> I love me. And I, I go back, say it again. I'll replay this like it's a music video, bro. It's spitting. Spitting? Who, who, who is this TA little officer? Counseling, like? and you need to be shown how to love yourself yeah. and to be shown that you deserve a lot more than yeah. life. Yeah. You know, I'll be honest, I... I 
I don't. I was, at this moment in time, I don't feel like I that I telling, deserve that. You know you what do, I mean? You do, lads. You know what I was just telling you. I I was the same age as you, living on the East Street, flat, serving up. You know what I mean? And it was like I was living in. I tell you what happened to me, right? I was in one of these flats here, right? And I remember he had loads of drugs in front of me, and I broke down crying, right? Uncontrollably sobbing, and I didn't know what was going on, right? And I thought, I've got everything in front of me that that I want. But then I looked out the window and I seen people just going about their life. I had nothing that I needed. And it's, it was funny, like, it's funny yeah. you should say that, Bill, right? Because I was I was only speaking to one of my mates yesterday, right? And we were having a proper heart to heart in New York Park, having a good chat and that. And I said to him, I said, look, I said, do you feel like I've got no one to talk to half of the time? I said, but you know what? I find myself walking down the street, happy as Larry, and then out of nowhere, I'll see like a, a family, you know, having a laugh and joke, living normal lives. Or I walk past the restaurant to see like, you know, like, you know, nans and granddads with the grandkids and all that. And out of nowhere, I'll just, I'll break down and like, and it, I can't, I can't control myself, and I get to the point where it's like that's sad, man. Because this make you think about bro's origin story, the way he was brought up, the way everything, and it's just like, even though it ain't my story, but like I'm interested to hear his whole story because this he should be on the episode of Lab Bible. I'm interested, and he's very articulate too. Like what happened, and just don't. I'm asking what happened, but I'm, 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 I'm also knowing that it could. Do a 180, and it could, you could be going the opposite way in a few months. He's still well put together too. Like it ain't too. It is. Start, it's deep, I but it ain't. Contemplating and thinking, well, is it worth it? Is it worth it? I didn't ask to be brought into this world. I didn't ask to be dealt the cards that are being dealt. And then, yeah, and, then I, and then, and then, and then, someone approached me in the street and asked me for more rights, and then, you know they said talk to me, and they made me feel a bit more positive about my situation. But it's. There's only so much a human being can take. Yeah. And I just wanted to ask anyone out there if they know any, anything supported living, any support, shared housing. Where can they find you, can they find you Jason? I'm mainly around the Kingston and Chebrook area at the moment. I don't yeah. go into town no more. I've been getting bullied a lot by the other homeless. Um, getting money taken off me when they... Bro can't even be homeless in peace. Golly. Seeing people giving me money and stuff. Um, so I've just I've started staying on the outskirts of town now because to be honest with you, yeah, I'm quite I'm, yeah. quite I'm quite vulnerable in that city centre. Hey, y'all go check on him, man. All of my scouts people, if y'all watching and y'all rock with me, I can't go hut check on him. Y'all go check, make sure he cool, man. Help him find some type of support because he's asking for if you if you see me, help me find some support. He ain't asking for no money. It's deeper than that for him. Y'all tell me y'all you'll never walk alone. Well, show me. And it's it's getting to the point now where I'm starting to mix with the wrong people, and and, and I don't want to get to the point where I fall into heavy addiction issues. Yeah. But I need some some. Are you struggle. You struggle with addiction. I, I, at the moment, yeah. Be honest with me, like. At I'm, the moment, yeah. yeah. I am at the moment, yeah. Because last time twelve we months spoke, ago, went. Last time we spoke. Twelve months you, ago, you, I. You just having a split. I was just having a split, yeah. But now it's got but a lot now, worse. It's got a lot worse. Progression. And that's yeah, yeah. Y'all need to make sure he's cool. Being around the wrong people in town, as I said before, I'm very easily led, and that's why I need that what, someone who's going to come forward, offer me the right help and support, and put time and effort into getting me back on track and living a good life. Have you ever thought about going to meetings? I've been to NA, yeah. Yeah. What did you think of them? To be honest with you, I enjoyed them. Yeah. Would you go but with me? I would, yeah, yeah. I would, yeah. Right. But my trouble is, I've got no motivation. W so if Billy. I haven't got that person standing next to me going, come on, you can yeah. do it. I won't <laughs> I do it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, Bill? I won't. I know that. That's just, that's just, I'm right. being honest. There's a little bit of gold there for you. Get yourself yeah. shut and sweet, right? Thank you, Bill. Appreciate your time Appreciate as well. Appreciate it. Well, come down and check on your right. Thank you. Nice one, Jason. Thank you very much. Sex workers. You know, there's a different breed. Jason, man, y'all go check on Jason. I'm damn near adamant about it. Because I felt, I felt them. I understood. It's the people who are homeless. And on the streets, Bro, begging want help. For a pound note. These are rough. Or oh, they live dangerous. 
sleep with anyone. Very aggressive as well. Kicking off because you've got your camera out. And I've got every right, I'm in a public place. I'm going to keep it real, man. I came here for Red Light District, Liverpool's high crime area. I came here for the negativity and, and to show me what it was about, man. But I'm leaving here, obviously, with Jason in my heart. This is tough. That was tough. I ain't going to lie. Like, I'm feeling the type of way. And I want all the scouts to go help him. <laughs> y'all know where he at. He said where he was. Go help him. If y'all know some type of support, something. <laughs> I ain't say with money. He didn't ask for no money. He asked for help. I do my thing. They do their thing. And just because we got this doesn't mean you know, I can't go about my business. When they're going about their business. Y'all yeah, stop that man from getting bullied too. Don't let him get bullied out there. You mean the way I want business? Oh, screech off there. We got no Anybody respect. Anybody once for again? Us. Thanks for watching. Go hold him down. At least go like. I don't know what could be offered because I'm not there, but like. Somebody go point him in the right direction. Be able to leave a like comment.